Welcome, Mark. <laughs> Friends, what we heard a few minutes ago about the way in which the violence was carried out against the protesters, against those on the Fatilla who were attacked by the Israeli forces in the way they were killed, underlines the bravery of the hundreds of supporters of Gaza and the Palestinians who are on that flotilla. And I salute their bravery. I'm proud of the fact that we've had people from Scotland, people from Edinburgh and Glasgow elsewhere on that flotilla. And all of us, I think, will support and recognize their bravery. And what their bravery has done is not just been to support one flotilla, but it has helped put the focus of the world, the attention of the world, on the scandal, the crime, that is the blockade of Gaza. But what I think is now so important, and I think we all know this, is that the anger that has been felt throughout the world, Edinburgh here and in London and so many other countries, now must not be allowed to dissipate. Because we know what the Israeli government and its supporters would want to happen. But after a few days, a few weeks, the situation would get back to normal and that the world would lose the focus of the attention that Mr. Fatilla has uh, brought about. And we know that just as the people under Fatilla faced danger for a few days uh, from the Israeli forces, there are millions in Palestine who face that danger every day of their lives. And that is what we must not be allowed to forget. So that is why it is so crucial that this campaign, that this Fatilla, which has brought so many thousands out of the streets, people who are not before protesting about Gaza Palestine. This campaign must continue, must be a press home here in Scotland, here in the UK, here in Edinburgh. So keep up the pressure. Make sure your MPs and MSPs are supporting the campaign, not just today, but on every day, in every campaign, every arena where they can do that. And so together we can indeed get not just an end to the siege of Gaza, an end to the blockade, but an end to the settlement building, an end to the house demolitions, and ultimately justice for the Palestinians, and peace for the Palestinians, and indeed peace for Israel as well. That must be our aim, that we must do. Let's keep our campaign for a day, and I certainly give my total support to that campaign here today, and we'll do so in Parliament in future as well. Thank you.